Hey everybody, Roy Diamonds, too loyal, back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Life Lessons with Lewis video. Racist roommate denied colored girlfriend. Let's get into the video, guys. Would you look at that? Didn't know Dylan here liked to play in the mud. Yeah, now I see why you've been hiding her from us. Likes to play in the mud. So you're telling me you think Marissi's hotter than Cheyenne? Way hotter. Are you kidding me? I mean, those eyes. Oof. Yeah, but Chan is younger. You gotta factor these things in when you're talking about girls. Uh, wait, so you would be with a less attractive girl just because she's younger? 100%. So it makes them hotter in the first place. That's weird. Well, you got a good point, but Mercy's Mexican. What's that mean? I mean, she'll clean your place afterwards. <laughs> yeah, the best is when they don't speak a word of English. Wow. Don't have to bother talking to them. Do about anything for that citizenship. Oh, man. You gotta be careful though. So These racist. Girls get pregnant so easy. I swear, all you gotta do is look at a Mexican girl and she'll get knocked up. Dylan, what do you think? Uh, I think you guys are being a little racist with the things you're saying. Wow. Someone's a little sensitive over there, huh? And speaking of, when we gotta get to meet that new girl of yours, you've been hiding her from us? Yeah, because I don't want you losers embarrassing me. This one's actually special. Us embarrass you? Wait, that's offensive. We're true gentlemen. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, I gotta get going. Uh, I gotta go pick up my girl. We're going on a date. Ooh. Dude, you notice anything weird about that guy lately? Yeah, ever since he's been with his new girl, he's different. Right? It's like he's hiding it from us. He's never done that before. What's Does he know how y'all be acting? He he not trying to bring her around and y'all talk crap about him. What's special about this one? I don't know, man, but something's up. Wow, your new apartment is amazing. Yeah. I love it. This is just one of the outdoor courtyard areas. I thought maybe we could sit by the fireplace and have a few drinks. Ooh, look at you showing off like that. <laughs> toast to our three-month anniversary. <laughs> I had such a good time tonight. This was so much fun. Yeah. I love taking you out and showing you off. So, are you gonna invite me upstairs or what? Uh, nope. I would, but my roommates are home. So, what does that matter? Well, it's just that they're, uh... They're, uh... What, they're racist. Nurse or something? No, that's not it. Well, why is it always, let's go back to my place, but you never want to bring me up to yours? What, do you have a girlfriend or something that I don't know about? <laughs> what? No way. Well, then why don't you want to introduce me to your friends? I mean, no one in your family knows we're dating. It's, it's like I don't even exist. Shanice... Not what you I wonder if his family's kind of racist too, though. You think? Oh, you're married, aren't you? <laughs> not even close. Well, I don't like the way you make me feel in this relationship. I feel like I'm some big secret, and if you're not proud enough to introduce me to your friends, then maybe we shouldn't be dating. Wait, 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 Shanice. I'll take you upstairs. It's just that it's late. They might be sleeping. Okay. <laughs> uh, Seth, Jeremy, this is my girlfriend, Shanice. Hi, boys. Nice to finally meet you. Dylan's told me so many good things. This is your girlfriend? Uh... Um, yes. Hang on, sweetie. The men are talking. Uh, Dylan, uh, this, this oh, is your girlfriend? Oh, it's not. Well, I can see what you mean by special. You called me special? Yeah, yeah, he sure did. I just didn't know how special he was talking, but I, I see that now, yeah. Um, Shaniqua, is it? Shanice. Shanice. Uh, Didn't even get her name right. A moment alone with our, with our boy here. We need to talk about roommate stuff. Uh, what, do you want me to wait in a room or something? No, 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 no. Um, why don't you just wait outside for us? Do 
but look at that. Didn't know Dylan here liked to play in the mud. Yeah, now I see why you've been hiding her from us. Hey guys, come on. You know, Dylan, it's one thing for you to date these chicks and have a little fun, but to bring one home and say they're your girlfriend? Wow, she got here, Dylan. Yeah, dude, it's not cool with us. You gotta stick with your own race. Gotcha! <laughs> huh? huh? Come on, guys, I totally had you convinced. I'm not actually dating this girl. Come on. Wow, he really, he really decided to say all this, dude. Actually be dating a black girl. I was just trying to get into her pants, if you know what I mean. I tell her stuff like, oh yeah, you're my girlfriend, as if I actually care about her. Never date a black girl? Sure had me fooled. Wait, wait, Shanice. She's pretty hot though, right? Wait, Shanice, wait up! I didn't mean that. Let go of my arm. Please, Shanice, I didn't mean anything I just said. Those guys gave me a lot of crap for dating outside my race, and I don't believe any of that. I just want to fit in. So? You think that I don't get crap for dating outside my race? You don't think my friends and family give me- Yeah, she don't care what nobody say. She never tried to downplay you or you know what I'm saying? Come on now. Crap. Here. I don't care because I was dating you and I loved you. Have fun fitting in with your friends. Wait. You want a man that know how to stand up for her. <sighs> Two years later. Shanice, is that you? Dylan? <laughs> How long has it been? Uh, two years? How are you? I'm good. Hey, listen. I know you probably don't care, but I want to apologize for who I was when I last saw you. I didn't know myself, and I let others influence my actions. I just want to say thank you for leaving me. It's the best thing you could have done. I learned how to stand up for myself and never to say ignorant stuff like that again. Uh. I ditched my old friends and I grew up right after that. It actually means a lot for me to hear you say that. I don't know what else to say other than I forgive you. Hey, Shanice. Uh, I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but if you're still single, I'd love to take you out sometime. Or, or maybe just catch up. Maybe. Same number, right? I'll see you around, Dylan. Okay. See you around. Over 19% of teens have admitted to doing something wrong or going against their moral compass just to fit in. And I'm here to yep. tell you that there's no need to try and fit in, guys. If anything, you'll go further in life if you're willing to stand out. Don't conform your life just to please other people. And don't do anything mm -hmm. other than what makes you happy. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.